It's locked down. You cannot do anything. Okay, let's try to find the label. So Anclef is it's a word game. It's a two words that I put together. There's anchor and there's clef. Anchor because obviously, based on my tattoo, I really love anchors. One of my favorite signs, if you could say, or just, you know, things like, because anchors find everywhere, and every time I see an anchor, it makes me happy. And clef is, uh, is like, like the treble clef, like we use, that's the, that's another word for key, so for example, this is a clef, there's the other clef, so, uh, so I thought it was very, personal to me to combine those two things because clef is important for my music life we, we always play the clef is something just the most essential thing in any music piece and the first part of anchor is also part of me what it stands for is like I, you know i wrote it i think as a, as a tagline <laughs> I wrote a safe harbor to share your artistry. And that's really what I meant is. For me, I mean, I didn't do it to earn money or something. Of course, it would be nice to, to do that too. But it was important for me that you have somewhere a safe place that you can share your own story without the concern of, oh, but maybe I cannot do this or people would expect me to do something different. I don't want that. So you should just put or release a story that you really need to tell, you want to tell. And it doesn't matter if like society or business thinks you shouldn't do it or something. That was something very personal because it was right when the, the pandemic was about to start and my mom passed away almost 20 years ago because of cancer and I never did something in my life to honor her. So already before the world went crazy with the pandemic, I had already in my mind, I, I really wanted to do something, you know, a trip, a music a musical tribute to her, just to honor her as her mother. And well, then lockdowns happened and you're stuck at home, you don't know what to do. So you start to think. And so I was like, okay, it would be really nice to, to record an album for her that's just dedicated to her. And then I thought, okay, why not do it on my own label? Because then I'm I'm free from anything. I'm my own CEO. I can decide on the, the pieces I want to record. I can choose the, the, the photography that I want to use as a cover. I write my own booklet. I can write anything I would like to share. So that was really what I meant before. This is not a story that I'm asking other people to approve it, but it's a story I need to tell. So I thought the best possibility to do that is just do it on your own. And that's why I thought, okay, then it's locked down. You cannot do anything, okay, let's try to find the label. <laughs> so that was in the end, I think the seed, how it all started. You know, it feels like watching every step I'm doing from an upper perspective. You know, so before, if, I, if, if I'm only an artist, yes, I focus to prepare as well as possible. I do this, yeah, I try to be convincing in my music and that's it. Now, of course, I need to take care. First, the, the 
uh, how to fund the label. I'm very grateful for the internet about that because so much bureaucracy. Uh, you need to get Gewerbeschein, you need to get a label code, you need to get an ISRC code. There's so much paperwork behind it. But it's doable because I managed to do it. I can't take it now because I don't remember. But there are very good plans on the internet, step by step, how to do it. So if I can do it, you can do it too. So just thank you for the internet for that. And then when you manage to do everything that you're registered, well, I'm a label now, but the, the fun starts, you know. So you can think so. What kind of story do you want to tell? Like, wh where do I want to record? You know, everything is on your own. So yes, it's time consuming, energy consuming, but it's also really fun. And you can, from a creative side, you can be as artistic as possible. Because you're your own boss. So you can... If you feel this is authentic, this is something you want to share the world with, do it. And when I have this, it, it helps me as a performing artist also to play differently. Uh, there's so many aspects involved, you know, the, there's a whole surrounding of it and it gives you some additional creativity, how you perform, how you play, also in how to choose your pieces. Like for my next album that's going to be released, I changed the repertoire so many times. I think I had my final playlist in the mid of January and I already recorded mid of April. You know? So there's this freedom of doing that. Like any big label wouldn't allow you, like how we, des we decided on the program, how can you change 20,000 times and I really changed 20,000 times. <laughs> but uh, so these are the kind of, yeah, this is the kind of the process. And I mean, I don't have kids yet <laughs> but this is how I would imagine when when your CD on your own label is released and you have it not just on streaming but really as as an actual CD you know have something like this it just feels like it's your own child I like that fact because it it adds some uh, humanity in your work well but to be strictly honest the financial aspect. Yes, yeah. Money is a quite big factor in it. And yes, we were taught in primary school money doesn't make you happy. It's true. But sometimes money could also solve a bit of problems. So I was very lucky because during the pandemic there were a lot of scholarships and support from Neustadt Kultur a lot. They supported me so much. Deutsche Orchester Stiftung, they helped me to release the vinyl. And so because of them, it was possible for me to even reach where my label is now. But of course, for the future, I think with the inflation and everything, yeah, money will become an even bigger fact. That's why I'm also, my label is registered as a one-person company, so it's mine. So because then I, I can, yeah, I think that's the easiest way at the moment how to realize all my projects. So there's less pressure about financing, you know. If I don't earn or make some minus, if it's on my own, it's fine, yeah, I can deal with it. But if it's for my coworker or my colleagues, I will feel so guilty about it. So I don't want to put the burden on that. I already have my ears open for other projects, also other artists, I mean, I'm happy I can produce my own albums, but of course I also wish someday maybe I can also produce other young artists yeah, who have kind of a similar thinking of what they want to do, like what I wanted to do here. So I would, yeah, I'm open-minded, any of this. And so let's hope and see in the future. I'm really happy that the music world was really open-minded towards me. A lot of people say, wow, this is crazy what you do, but we respect it. And for being such a young label, I was happy to really, I made some good contacts that I'm so grateful about. In Germany, in Europe, in the US, yeah, just around the world. So I was so happy that people those 
those people who are just such renowned personalities in the music world that they understood my intention, that they appreciated what I was doing, that they they were so open-minded to listen to my story. And it opened up to more possibilities. We got some good reviews. Radio did some wonderful broadcasts for us. We got like we got because of the CD or the releases, we got new opportunities, you know, to record something else. So it really opened doors for me. And it's just a wonderful thing when when the work you put into and you only have good intentions about it are understood. I think this is I've I haven't felt being so well understood since quite a long time. Also regarding all my performing and playing and everything. And that's something I'm really happy that I could already achieve.